In this video we will investigate the overconsolidation ratio of soil. The overconsolidation ratio, denoted OCR, is the ratio between the maximum past vertical effective stress and the current vertical effective stress. The maximum effective stress experienced by the soil is also referred to as the preconsolidation stress. If a soil has not experienced a larger effective stress than now, the soil is referred to as being normally consolidated. If the soil has experienced a larger effective stress than now, it is referred to as being overconsolidated. Based on the value of the overconsolidation ratio, the soil is either lightly overconsolidated, moderately overconsolidated, or heavily overconsolidated. When soil is deposited naturally, it is normally consolidated. But why would the past effective stress have been greater than now? The higher past effective stress could originate from multiple things. If a structure is built on top of a soil, the effective stress increases as consolidation occurs. The soil is still normally consolidated at this point, since the effective stress present represents the largest effective stress experienced by the soil. If the house is demolished and the load is removed, the soil will start behaving as overconsolidated since the past effective stress was higher. The structure could also be substituted with an ice sheet. When the ice sheet melts, the soil will be overconsolidated since the load from the ice sheet is removed. The higher pass load could also originate from the overburden pressure of overlying soil, which in time could have been subjected to erosion due to weathering conditions like great winds. When we perform excavation works, we are also removing the overburden pressure from the soil, while the underlying soil becomes overconsolidated. The soil besides the excavation is still normally consolidated, since the effective stress is the same. The overconsolidation ratio can in this scenario be calculated directly as the difference between the vertical effective stress before and after the excavation. The overconsolidation ratio is therefore important in many aspects. But why is the overconsolidation ratio important? Generally, overconsolidated soils have a stiffer response to loading compared to normally consolidated soils. Why overconsolidated soils yield smaller settlements? The increase in stiffness is usually also accompanied by a significant increase in shear strength. There are several methods for determining the overconsolidation ratio such as laboratory tests, field tests, empirical correlations, or simply knowing the past load. The most common laboratory test is the edometer test, which involves applying load to a soil sample and measuring its deformations. The edometer test is a one-dimensional consolidation test where lateral movement is restricted. The results from an edometer test is a stress-strain curve, for normally consolidated soils, the curve is linear in a semi-logarithmic graph. This is referred to as the normal consolidation line, NCL. For overconsolidated soils, the soil will have a stiffer response at the beginning, which is referred to as the unloading-reloading line, URL. At some point, the curve breaks and the soil behaves normally consolidated again. The effective stress at the breakpoint is the pre-consolidation stress. This is the maximum stress previously experienced and marks the transition from overconsolidated to normally consolidated. This can then be compared to the current effective stress in the field to determine the overconsolidation ratio. If the two stress strain curves are compared, it is evident that the overconsolidated soil experiences smaller strains at the same effective stress level. The stiffer response of the overconsolidated soil is utilized when considering settlements. Let's consider two construction projects, where one is constructed upon a normally consolidated soil and one on an overconsolidated soil. We assume that the soil response is according to the edometer test. When the structures are constructed, the consolidation process starts and the effective stress and the settlements increase. The structure constructed on the overconsolidated soil experience significantly smaller settlements than the structure constructed upon the normally consolidated soil. At some point, the pre-consolidation stress might be reached and the response of the overconsolidated soil changes to normally consolidated. 
the deformations of both soils will then follow the normal consolidation line. Sometimes the pre-consolidation stress is significant and won't be surpassed. Understanding the overconsolidation ratio of soil is crucial to understand the behavior of soil since strength and stiffness parameters are greatly affected by the degree of overconsolidation. This concludes the video. The table presented shows the variables used and their general units. To support the channel, please like and subscribe.